hello, 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 hello. I think I'm live anyway. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. <laughs> Couple of so I am I am live. I've just come, popped up on my thing. Hello me. <laughs> hi everyone, come and say hi if you're watching. Um I'm gonna do something um really easy today and you can create um some landscapes let me just put my phone away put that on silence we don't want to hear that do we anyway yeah so back again at a strange time well it's not a strange time it's a normal time because normally i'm on in the morning but i'm on the afternoon today so hi everyone <laughs> i am here hello <laughs> i'm going to paint some really easy anyone could do this like even like a child can do this and create things like this um simple really simple abstract landscapes um so the holding card says um loose flowers but i'm not painting flowers today <laughs> i'm doing these really easy landscapes really easy really easy and my favorite one is this one that i've done because i think it looks like let me hold it up a little bit closer i think it looks like a nice summer landscape and then it looks like um it's got daisies at the front and i do like daisies <laughs> i like painting daisies they're like one of my favorite flowers especially to have in my garden so i'm going to show you how to do this and i did these one two three four i did five paintings in less than five minutes so you need paper because we're going to get carried away with do, <laughs> doing this now the paper oh god i've got stuff over it i'm messy sorry um i've got some paper ready these are watercolor blocks these are um just really cheap off cuts that i buy from sea whites of brighton because i'm lucky that i can go to their factory place and buy things like this so I've got these blocks but then I've also got a sheet of a watercolor board you can buy someone gave me this um but you can use any watercolor paper but make sure it's um what was I going to say uh, above 140 pound 300 and 300 gsm something like that anyway and i'm just going to start off by the ones here these ones i just used three colors i just used daniel smith lunar black phalo turquoise and i used um jackson's quinacridone gold so i'm going to use the quinacridone gold because that's my favorite color and i like it because it travels hi janelle hello 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use Luna Black because I love Luna Black. I love the way it granulates. Can you see me put, where I'm putting it? I'm just sticking it in there. And I'm, I'm going to not use um, the turquoise this time because I want something a little bit different. I'm going to use Serpentine Green. Experiment with the way you sort of lay them out. I'm just going to use like a, you can use a credit card, but I'm going to use a a um what do you call this <laughs> my mind's gone completely blank <laughs> palette knife that's the one and i'm gonna be really weird and stick in a bit of this cobalt turquoise as well i'm gonna use more than three colors for this <laughs> cobalt turquoise and some prussian blue why not let's stick it in i got like weird colors i don't know where to put this i might put the prussian blue here so I've got cobalt turquoise, quinacridone gold, lunar black, Prussian blue and serpentine green. And I'm going to use, all I'm going to do, let me just start off, I'll start off with this big board because it's like normal, but I'm, it's probably going to do lots of, lots of, oh, where's my hate brush, I'm like looking for brushes. You don't have, necessarily have to have a brush for this bit, you just need to put some, um, clean water that's not clean <laughs> i have got clean water there you'll be people who 
often watch me <laughs> I never have clean water I forget just put really wet the paper I need a bigger brush really I can't find my hate brush I should have thought that out before need a bigger brush <laughs> just wet the paper loads and it's going to cockle and buckle if you haven't got it like on a board this is a board thing then all you need to do is if you're using a like a an old card or something you just need to dip it in i might try the card actually first let me try the card first and then so the other ones i did with the palette knife you just do that so you get it on the edges you get all different amounts of stuff and it's quite um you can't plan exactly <laughs> Morning Dawn, hello, afternoon, oh it's afternoon here. And then what I did was I think, oh well, I want the horizon here. I just went like this with a horizon line and then I went back again and then I went, oh, <laughs> swaps and swap it around and then see what happens. And you get different, different effects with different things. And then because I just like the texture, the surprise it gives you, I gave you. I sprinkled a bit of silt on there so that's the first one to me this hasn't got enough black in it but it looks like a landscape already isn't it <laughs> that's good Dawn no I'm doing it at a different time normally I'm on like I've been on already but I've decided that for a couple let me put this on the floor before I ruin it it's gonna go on the floor and dry um, for a couple um, I might try an earlier time <laughs> so that was the first one but how simple was that let's do another one I'm going to use my uh, I didn't like the way my card worked on that one so I'm going to use the palette knife for the next one they're so simple and people are going to go oh, how did you do that well <laughs> you can see now I'm quite far away in the, the thing the thing I'm far away in the camera distance. Sorry, I can't um, change that because I've got the... Right, I've got more darker on this. Let me just pop a bit of that. See, so yeah, I've just done that. I've wetted the paper again. and I want the horizon here. This is better, this paper. Look at that, that's so nice. And then I'm just going to go, hold your breath and go... <gasps> and sprinkle a bit of salt because that always looks good so there's another one let's put that one to dry hopefully they'll be dry by the time i finish doing a gazillion of these this is like going to be over in like that's two <laughs> it's just easy to do you just get some lovely effects and you get a bit carried away with it you can like go through loads of paper <laughs> let's get some more paint i end up like scraping up loads. let's try and get more, a bit more green you can use any colors you like but i just like the lunar black because i know that it granulates and the um codone quinacodone gold is just a lovely traveler it just likes travels I should use that Peril Scarlet because that tra travels everywhere. I'm just going to splosh this down here. I've got all the paint in the world on that one. Ooh. And you can scrape some off if you think you've put a bit much. <laughs> just You can like create trees as well. Like this. Think, oh yeah, there's a tree there. Make that more of a tree. And then you can control it. You can even add more paint and add other things as well if you want you see things happening stick a bit of salt on that it's just fun to do you should should try and you get some just like beautiful effects and it's just simple oh, i still just really like this one i've done They're the simplest thing to do. I think I won't be here very long today because I'm in 
I'm not going to use all my paper while doing this. <laughs> I've been doing it most of the day. And let's scrape up some more. I suppose you can use anything really, any colours. But that's tube paint. You can't do it with pans. <laughs> you could do it with. Um, you could put it straight onto the paper. I know. I start thinking about other things you can do. This is just like the simplest, simplest thing ever. I'm just gonna try and create like fields coming across. You can think about it as much as you like and make it as complicated as you like, or just just do it really simple. It's just easy. <laughs> and the less strokes you do, the more effective it, it is. Just like coax this down a little bit. And then I'm going to put a bit of salt on that. These, these aren't going to be dry, are they? <laughs> They're just going to be... But look, look how lovely it is. It's just nice. Just, you can angle things. Well, I've used most of my paint up there. I've got these little... Oh, I'm going to just put that over there. I've got these little blocks as well. I was, I was doing some in my my sketchbook sort of thing, but, they, but then you can't. You have to wait for them to dry, don't you? On this one, that was just using a paintbrush, which is boring. <laughs> but you can go over the top if you've got something boring that you didn't like. Just go and scrape up a bit of paint from somewhere and stick it on, and then. You might get something you quite like. Does that look like hills in the background? And then the foreground, get a bit bigger. That looks better than it was. And it's just, you don't even have to think about what you're doing. <laughs> just play around. Oh, great dog. Yeah, come and join the painting. There's lots up there. We're doing um, textural textural florals. A minute, water ones. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Done. Sorted. <laughs> Let's do another one. I'm just gonna. This is just a little block of paper, but um, I just want to use up all my paint that I've got here. So I'll just do this. Really simple. And if I could paint flowers like this, it'd be nice. Look at the way that's travelling. Why oh, is that travelling upwards when I'm holding it down? <laughs> It's just that it's that serpentine green. It's just lovely. It just does does beautiful things. Look how nice that is. It's just sorry I was wasn't holding it in the the, the camera view. <laughs> Forget I was holding it far away. My camera's at a weird angle. I don't know why it's um so far away. I'm gonna have to um, sort that out. And the light's weird as well. Sorry about that. But there's another one. I've run out of paper now. <laughs> oh, let's find some, some old bits. Oh, here's an old bit. This would do. I don't know what this is. It's an old bit of paper. Just slap on. I've run out of colour on my um, thing. I want to test it out doing just something really weird. Weird colours <laughs> like I did the other day. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you. Don't start with the sound of music. You don't want to set me off singing, do you? Um. <laughs> Let's put something like bizarre onto the into my colour mix. It's a, I've I've been um, pulling out colours that I haven't. Um, I've got big fat tubes of. I don't use much before they will dry up. Uh, I've got this per perline, perline, 
it's gone gunky on the end Perline maroon that looks fun uh, I said I wanted to use that Perline scarlet because that takes over the world let me see what that does usually it takes over everything so I'm going to put that in there and because we can I'm going to stick some pink in this is Crinocodone Rose from Van Gogh Colour. I haven't used that very much. Stick that in. And then to make it really disgusting, let's stick in some Luna Black. Because <laughs> I like it. <laughs> right, I've got those colours there now. Let's see what happens. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, it's gone. That one's gone mouldy. Look, look. Mouldy watercolour. <laughs> Don't use it. That's that maroon. It's got mould on it. So let's see what mould does when you paint with it. I'll try not to put it in. I think my brush is charming. <laughs> right, I've wetted the paper. Let's see what happens. This might be... Oh, look, there's a lump of mould. <laughs> Ooh. That's weird. Like lumps of mould in your paintings. Oh, that's nice. That's done nice things. <laughs> it's quite thick. I wonder if I got a spray bottle and did some. The colours are like weird. Oh, I had a lovely colour there now. I've got to miss it up. See, that scarlet's gone and taken the world taken over the world stick a bit of salt there and then I'm going to chuck it on the floor and leave it and see what happens I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got so much on the floor behind me now I won't be able to um, mm -mm. all right Don. bye <laughs> um, well I've got some more paper because I'm still I'm having too much fun at the minute let's just wet the paper I'm just gonna spray the paper this time and see what happens <laughs> yeah, I know, Charlie. Every time I, every time I lick my paintbrush, I'm like, oh no, where's Charlie to tell me off? Keep me in, keep me in check. Ooh, look, oh, there's a yellow going across there. I wonder what, what colour that's come from. I just, uh, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Hi Helena. Ooh, I'm just like enjoying the um, weirdness of everything. I'm just going to stick some more colour on here and I'm just going to have a nice time. <laughs> Let's stick a bit more. Um, I think that Scarlet took over the world. So I'm going to stick a bit of this um, blue. Cobalt turquoise. Um, let's put a bit more serpentine. I haven't got much of this left. I need to buy some more serpentine. Um, green is beautiful. And a little bit more. Now let's use Prussian blue because that's that's going to be nice with the maroon, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick a bit of salt on that one at the bottom and then stick it on the floor. I'm going to be jumping over things. I've already got a better thing. <laughs> I fell down the stairs. <laughs> right, let me spray some water on this. Right. That, that's like soaking, you know. It's going to run everywhere. Let me get a bit... Scrape this off. I'm just using... <laughs> I don't know what's on there. There's loads of different colours on there. I've got a bit of mould as well. <laughs> from What colour was that from the maroon? It's gone mouldy. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I just don't want to... I'm going to splosh it down flat. And then do something weird with my... brush look at the colors there they're just amazing <laughs> i don't want to um disturb this one i'm gonna put a bit of salt on it 
I need a little bit. Let me see if I can find one. No, I don't like that. I should have just left it. <laughs> it's amazing what all the, look at the colours. Let me hold it up a bit because I know I'm far away. Is it far away? Looks like a volcano getting off. <laughs> I'm going to go through all my watercolour paper. If you're going to do this, don't use expensive stuff because um, you're just going to um, get carried away with it and want to do more and more and more and more and more and more. So how many have I done? I've done loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've done ten. <laughs> Let's control this one a bit more. This one in my sketchbook sort of nearly dry. Um, it's a bit boring, but it's okay. It's not as exciting as the one in front of me. I'll show you in a minute. I just want to use up my paint a bit more. I like that serpentine, um, serpentine and the it's a big blob. serpentine green and the blue and then that maroon and the blue together is really nice and it's made it like a grey so I'm just going to encourage this green because there's a big blob of the green in there so let's encourage that down a bit and see if it will It's going to be really weird and get some of that cerulean turquoise, is it turquoise? Cobalt turquoise by Mission and like stick it up to the top but not touch, not touch it, not touch that bit so it stays, so stay there, <laughs> put a bit of salt on. <laughs> And leave it to see what that one. Look at this one. Look how beautiful that is. I love this area. It's still not, not quite dry, but it's it's just really nice. I was mean, just going to get carried away with doing all these. <laughs> these are the ones I did earlier. But this one, I like this one. It looks like daisies in the. Um, foreground looking out onto a landscape is that one that one I don't know it doesn't look too landscapey but um I don't know this one that's quite a nice landscape it looks like there's a clump of trees you can sort of go over them these looks like a hills in the background you can go over them and like add little things when they're dry. Let's have a look at some of the ones I did. Oh, this is the one on the board that I did first. That was a bit weird. The board's all bent now. <laughs> I think you can flatten it out after. Well, that's quite nice. It's very subtle, that one, for me. Let's stick that up there. <laughs> Let's have a look at the others. I like this one. This is going to be fantastical when it's dry. Because the blues and the... The thick paint and everything. It's all really nice. I like that. It looks like a whale. Which one? I can't think of which one it was. It doesn't really. <laughs> oh, that's um. This is the other one of them? Uh, the red ones. The ones with the red in are looking. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is why I just get excited about things. Look at the. Oh, this is nice. Look at the blue. That's. What colour blue is that? That's a bit of the um, Prussian blue, the Daniel Smith Prussian blue in that one. <laughs> yeah, oh. This one. The paint was a bit thick in this one, but. I loved all the way the colours of um, 
separated. They look really nice. Thank you, Greg Salt. <laughs> Thank you, Helena. It's really simple. Go and have a go and you can just create stunning things. This one is like doing beautiful things. I'm, I'm just like, ah, look, look, look. <laughs> just look at that. <laughs> it's nice that that scarlet is like taking over the world, but it's, it just looks like a, a fire. I don't know, I don't know where to put everything. <laughs> Oops, and the other one, which is a bit weird, but it's good. Weird in a good way. There's like purple happened here. I don't know where the purple came from. I just want to do one more, and then, <laughs> and then I'll probably be off. Um, because there's only so much paper you can <laughs> get carried away with. I've, I've done like 15 of these now so I'll just wet the paper hi to anyone who's just joined we're just having fun doing the abstract watercolors um i'm just going to scrape up some paint on here i love the serpentine and i love that maroon so god knows it's all spodged in together so i don't know how this is going to work but horizon <laughs> line it's not squirting out as much on this one look it's just i want to put some like granulation medium on that i don't know where it's gone though i know i threw it on the floor somewhere <laughs> let's use some bleach you know i like using bleach hi gems <laughs> I've stuck some bleach on here. I don't know why this one hasn't flowed as much. Let's go over it again with the... Um, I need to scrape up some more paint. It's not coming up. It's making nice things on the palette as well. Let's do another line. Maybe I didn't put as much water on this one. make it wetter <laughs> and a bit more paint on there this one's weird it's not doing the um, spready thing anyway that's as not exciting as the others have been this encouraged some things to happen I've just seen this out the corner of my eye <laughs> Mr Blotting I, uh, I've got some I've got a bit of blotting paper actually <laughs> Look, a nice fresh bit of blotting paper in for a treat today, Charlie. <laughs> Let's block this whole front bit up and just leave the weird sky. Or whatever it is. It's just going to look weird, isn't it? <laughs> See, that hasn't blotted it up completely. I like that. And then that let's let it all wash back on itself this is where I just start creating crazy things <laughs> just like, like experiment oh look at this this is good it's like experimenting with stuff I think if you're a watercolor painter this is like the best thing about watercolor <laughs> there we go look at that that's just really nice and I've made like a pool of water on my desk and it's just dripping everywhere let's just knock this bit, bottom bit up <laughs> I'm going to stick some salt on that now go and get your paints guys and go and have a go
I've run out of I know I know what what colour I didn't put on the my traveller the traveller paint where's it gone <laughs> I'm looking for the um here it is hi Barbara <laughs> what's that <laughs> Go get, you can use a credit card as well an old credit card or your best credit card um Quina Cadone Gold Travels usually so I've stuck a bit of that in there I just wanted to, to get a bit more colour on it after I blotted everything out this must be a different piece of paper the others went travelled really far I'm just grabbing bits of old paper that I've got stuck places <laughs> let's have one more go on this and then I'm going <laughs> before I like use up the whole of my paint supply and paper. <sighs> yeah, I've got a, like a Debenhams beauty card. I never use beauty cards. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> I think if you bought stuff, you um got points but I don't know if I ever used it I've got paint on there I should use that up shouldn't I I'm just using what's on here Ooh, that's horrible <laughs> let's get some dark Ooh. I just like watching the colours just do their weird thing whatever they're doing It's different to um, using a brush. <laughs> you can start flicking things. You can like start like making trees if you wanted, but I'm not. <laughs> there. So I, I use that paint up. I've still got some paint on here, so I'm just gonna squidge it on make some more lines lines are good so just make it look like hills we're looking off into the hills you can make tree faces tree faces <laughs> There you go, that's a hilly landscape. <laughs> I think I think I need to stop now. But these are rocks at this end. <laughs> I'll scrape it up with the rest of my paint. Some my mouldy paint. <laughs> Make this look ruggedy. And then you can always add to the texture by adding salt and then another favorite of mine is using clean film <laughs> let's get off a bit oh it's always a nightmare to get <laughs> And this will make like a rocky, rocky, make it look like rocks. So you have to leave that to dry completely before you take it off. But I'll give you a hint of what it makes it look like. It sort of makes it look like <laughs> uh, it's, it's too wet at the minute. But you can tell through the paper you get left with these smooth areas and then some ridges. And it makes it look like... Um, uh, rocks so i'm just going to keep that tipped up a bit because um it really looks like a landscape and i'm quite happy with that one it's the last one <laughs> go and have a go everyone hi june <laughs> they're really simple to do anyone can do them i've made like how many have i made one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen of them in the last half hour. <laughs> Oh, and, and then I've got bleach everywhere as well. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one upwards. I'm, I'm trying to find something to rest it on. Let me rest it on this. I still like this one with the bright blue. Look, look, look just look. It's still really wet. Where the salt? If you use salt, it takes longer to dry. But don't use a hair dryer because you then you lose all the beautiful texture that's like there. <laughs> Now, I can't do any more gems. I've run out of paper. <laughs> I won't have any paper to do anything else. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. I'll be back here live doing something else a bit crazy on Wednesday. Probably Wednesday. More, on Wednesdays, I'm 7.30 a.m. GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, London. Um, on Monday and Friday... I'm 4.30 p.m. So I do, do different times now. So thank you for joining me. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also please think about joining my new Patreon. But there's loads there, even though it is new, because I've been uploading stuff on there like crazy, man. So, yeah. Take care, everybody. And I will see you on Wednesday, hopefully. Bye.